In this session, we would be learning how to create one point and two point perspective of simple cubes and cuboids. I'm sure you must have all attended the design session for one point and two point perspective. We are going to recreate those assignments over here. For this exercise, I am going to change the orientation of my page. I'll change it to landscape. I am using a simple A4 size page. Unit of measurement has been set at millimeters. Also, I've turned on guideline snap, object snap, and page snap. Let me start by repositioning zero of the ruler to the center of the page. This way. Now, I'll create the horizon line. Use two point line and create a line from the midpoint of the page to the midpoint at the other side. We will consider the center point of this line to be the vanishing point. The vanishing point of one point perspective will be at the center of the page. I will now create certain cubes, that is certain square shapes and certain rectangular shapes. Make sure you are using rectangular tool and not three point rectangle because we want our rectangles to be perfect. They cannot be tilted at all. For creating squares, you can hold the control key on your keyboard. Now, start placing your objects. Objects that are on the horizon line are at our eye level. Objects that are on the top are above our eye level. And objects that have been placed below are below our eye level. Adjust the size of the squares and rectangles as per your wish. There is no parameters, anything as such. You can choose any dimension of your choice. Let's get started. I'll start by creating a line using two point line tool. Click on the node point and drag your cursor towards the center point of the horizon line. The center point is a vanishing point. Click on this node and click on this node point here. That is the center point. Node point, vanishing point, node point and vanishing point. Keep repeating the steps for all the node points. And finally, this line. If you want, you can replace these lines as a different style. That means I can select this line and instead of a simple line, I can make it a dotted or a dashed line. So you know that this line is taking you to the vanishing point. So I'll just convert these lines to dotted lines. Changing it into a dotted line will allow you to identify these lines better. Like this. I'll keep the horizon line as it is. Now we can start creating lines to create our cubes and cuboids. I'll activate two point line tool and I'll create a straight line over here. For creating a straight line, hold the shift key. 
place it at the edge. So these two are quite easy. Place it at the edge. Now just cover these portions up like this. This will give a complete finished look. 